Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another feeding video I hope everyone's enjoying the videos that I'm uploading lately And uh, there are more to come Next up in my um, content creation plan is gonna be a Species review of scorpions Starting from the beginner types all the way to the more advanced For keepers So do stay tuned for that So yeah, without further ado Let's start off this feeding video with the Serapagopus lividus. Let me see it if it wants a spore. Of course it would want, it's hungry. This particular specimen has been rejecting food uh, previously, but today it seems like it seemed rather thin, so I decided to feed it. Now. It's a very nice specimen, beautifully colored. A lot of people like to call them overrated, but I say they are just damn beautiful. Alright, let's move on to the next specimen. Next up we have the Monocentrophus Balfouri Communal. So we have two very feisty ones right here. One is a matured male and one is an immature female. Let's see the female one to my pen. Do you want me to for you? Now let's, that was an interesting takedown. I shall throw in a few extra for the other specimens to eat. So yeah, thrown in a bunch of uh, crickets, so hopefully the other specimens get to eat it. The other one doesn't seem to be in the mood to eat for now. Hopefully they will eat. Oh! Long jump champion right here. Long jump champion. Gets eaten. It did it. Hopefully the other two will come out and eat, so yeah, let's go on with the next specimen. Right up next we have a Pisleteria striata, this is a male. Uh, let's see if it would want the cricket. I'm gonna give it a decently sized one. Definitely a good take down. That was actually really impressive. I wonder how this. Uh, I wonder how the slow motion would look like. All right, let's move on to the next specimen. Next up, we have our one and only killer bracket species, King Krachan, the Dark Earth Tiger. So this is the matured female. Let's see if it would like a. I might have accidentally dropped it on her and she ain't happy about it. Very gentle take down. Very gentle. Happy dance! Straight off, we already have a happy dance. Shake that butt.
Next up, we have the freshly molted uh, six-eyed sand spider, the Sicaria species. Let's see if it wants to have a cricket. Alright, so I had to change out uh, the cricket for some mealworms and now the Scarius, the six-eyed sand spider seems to be a bit more interested in it. Oh, there we go. Oh, let go of it. Again, another hit. Alright, so we found out that it prefers mealworms over crickets, so we'll keep that in mind. Let's move on to the next specimen. Alright, next up we have a matured female Leurus quinquestriatus. I am going to feed her before I attempt pairing because she's fully grown and my male that I have a male which is most probably fully matured as well so yeah I'm gonna feed her make sure she is full that was fast Fast. <laughs> that was real fast. <laughs> that was a bit too fast for my comfort. <laughs> but damn, she brutal. Looks like I have to figure out a way on how to pair these two together. Hopefully the milk cooperates and you know, can have a successful breeding. I will be doing another video for this particular breeding, especially scorpion breeding. So let's hope that comes out well. And you know, stay tuned for it. Let's move on to the next specimen, this specimen's fiance. Here we have the male Leurus quinquestriatus, the dead stalker. And this is the wolf. Oh, this is. the mate for the previous specimens uh, breeding attempt and yeah please ladies and gentlemen be the, this is a discretion do not attempt to keep any of these old worlds be, uh, sorry old worlds I'm getting confused with tarantulas now do not attempt to keep any of these dangerous uh, scorpions if you are a beginner I will be doing uh, video for specific uh, beginner specific scorpions and let's hope that comes out well enough uh, soon enough i guess uh, you know if i get about you know 50 likes for this video i should i will actually make i not should i will make a beginner species uh, for people who are interested in joining the scorpion keeping community so do stay tuned and i hope the likes reaches 50 that's my next milestone goal right now so yeah let's go on with the next specimen right up next we have a fully matured out parabutus transvelicus and uh, doesn't seem to be bothered <laughs> To the side is like Boop. Ah, this is so cute well it looks like his neighbor the parabutus raudus is rather 
lively. So yeah, let's move on to the next first moon. Next up, we have the Parabutus Raudus by Color Form. I decided to take my camera out of its tripod. So let's see. Give me a moment to see if I can freehand this. Too much shaking. The epic shakes. Let's see. Hmm? I mean, she did look interested. No. Nope. Oh, nope, nope. She's still too chonk. She too chonk. Ah, she will eat it eventually. I know her. Alright, let's go on to the next specimen. Next up, we have a very shy Pencil BTS Mascara. Well, this one is relatively there you are it's one hey gentle take down all right let's move on to the next specimen next up we have the smeringurus mesaniensis also known as the dune scorpion molted out rather long ago and now it's gonna be its first feeding after a while so let's see and you run away instead what the hell oh okay This is a bit of a messy feeding, but this is the male, and the male seems to be very, very hungry. Alright, looks like the one sting has done its job. Now let's move on to the next specimen. Next up, we have the Hatentota Tamilus, molted out as well. Let's see if it wants a cricket. Oh no, get it! Come here. You're not going anywhere. You need to get eaten. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. Oh, okay. That you then? Let's see how long does the venom. Seems like the venom, the sting was not properly injected in. But it looks a bit. Yep, yep, it's still. There we go. Let me get rid of this out of the way. 
Um, that cricket is done for. It's gone. It's dead. It's deaded. Somebody's hungry. Alright, let's go on with the next specimen. Alright, next up we have the Eupalestris Campus Stratus, also known as the Pink Zebra Beauty, one of the best uh, beginner species tarantulas you can get out there. Also, they say this. So, let's give it a cricket and see whether it's hungry. Oh, yep. Out of frame again. Give it two crickets. Ooh. What was that? <laughs> All right, let's go on with the next specimen. Next up, we have the male Eupalestris campus stratus. Let's see if it hungry. I'm gonna go try to grab a cricket. Get your ass here. There you go. Let's see if you can coax it out. Very nice take down, and it's now heading back into its burrow, I would assume. Alright, let's go on to the next specimen. Next up, we have the Parabutus transvelicus. I'm gonna make this quick because I know this one tends to run away very fast. So, let's make it as quick as I can. Very quick, very fast. Didn't expect it to suddenly dash, like make a big sudden U turn. And just caught the cricket off guard completely. It caught me off guard, truth be told. <laughs> scary specimen, very scary. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the next specimen. Next up, we have the Hot and Tota Hot and Tota. So let's see what do I have for it. I mean it's pretty chunk so round it about oh yep. <laughs> I didn't even have to wait long enough. Uh wait long. It's definitely hungry. It's like that. I'll give it another one and see. All right, let's move on to the next specimen. All right, next up we have the Leoris quinquestriatus. This is a juvie female, and I think it hasn't eaten for a bit. So let's see. I mean, like, she hasn't eaten on camera for quite a while. Let's see if she wants to have a cricket. She is hungry. 
and oh, the venom effect is immediate. Definitely faster than the Androgynous uh, Crest Gouda. The Lyurus Quinquestriatus, also known as the Deathstalker. Very deadly specimen. Don't try to screw around with it. Never ever attempt to handle it because you will suffer. Therefore, let's move on to the next specimen. And right up next we have a beautiful specimen. The Formictopus cancerides. This is a sub-adult female. No, I know she's hungry so... There we go. Alright, let's go on to the next specimen. Next up we have a Lycus species. I forgot what the like, uh, species name is, but I know it's a Lycus genus, so let's feed it. That was fast. <laughs> Very interesting specimen. There we go. Alright, let's go on to the next specimen. Next up we have the Simerox Gorum Birupes or the Birupoyo Simerox uh, whatever <laughs> Simerox Gorum. So let's see if it is hungry for a cricket. Ha, ah, picky eater. It won't eat out in the open. Oh well, let's move on to the next specimen, I guess. Next up, we have the Padinus Imperator, also known as the Emperor Scorpion. And he seems lively. This is the male. Why are you always out of frame? So, yeah, this is the Padinus Imperator male. One more mold away from full maturity, and I can pair him with my female. And he is as feisty as ever, has yet to refuse his temper management issues. <laughs> Alright, let's go on with the next specimen. Next up, we have the Padinus Imperator female. This is about a fully grown matured female emperor let's see if it wants a cricket comfy cricket no not hungry that's new how about if I feed it hungry are you not hungry? oh oh okay again it was out of frame god damn it So yeah, she is a little bit hungry, so probably going to give her two crickets. Oh, they have a cricket right away. Oh well, it will end up getting eaten anyways. So yeah, let's move on to the next specimen. Right up next, we have the classic Hapactera pulcrapis, also known as the golden blue leg baboon. Now let's see if it is hungry. And it decides to run. Oh well, I guess it's uh, not in the mood to eat right now, so I'm just gonna leave the cricket in there and let's see what happens later. So let's go on to the next specimen. Next up, we have the Lyurus Queen Quest Triatus. Does it want the crickets? Let's see.
Ah, Lyra's genus, no matter how dummy thick they are, they are always hungry. And the crickets did. <laughs> the venom. Never mess around with the Lyra's genus uh, venom. They are potent! Alright, let's go on with the next specimen. This is probably one of my most problematic feeding. I had to cut off the video because it was trying to run out consistently. Yep, this is the Parabutus villosus. Black color form. And it is very hungry. We got molted out about four weeks ago. Now it's fully hardened up. So it is really hungry. Alright, let's move on with the next specimen. Next up we have is the Smeringurus messaniensis female. I doubt she would eat, but let's give it a try anyways. Oh! I mean, if she ain't gonna eat, I'm gonna remove this food. Ah, there we go. All right, that was surprising. Let's go on with the next specimen then. Today is the day I finally will attempt on how to actually properly say the scientific name for this particular specimen. So let's see if I get this right. Chersonesometrus tristis also known as the Mysore Forest Scorpion. Finally, I said it. That's it, I'm done. That, that, this video is over. Okay, bye. Nah, I'm just joking. Let's see if it wants to be fed because it just molted out uh, about a couple of weeks ago and uh, hasn't eaten yet and Based on the size, as everyone can see, I am going to have to do a rehouse for this particular specimen. And, uh, you know, I'll probably do a video on that, rehousing this particular specimen. And, come here. There we go. Let's see if it's hungry. Oops. There we go. Ooh, nice. Oh, straight off. Oh no. Oh, the head straight. It just crushed the head. Oh, that's brutal. Oh. That's really brutal. Damn, you hungry, bro? You know what? That's actually really impressive. Let's move on to the next specimen. Next up, we have a female sub-adult Androctonus crassicauda. And while it's still out and active, I need to quickly grab a very big cricket for her because I know she loves crickets a lot more than any other feeder that I've tried with her. So this would be not the right size. There you go. Come here. Alright, where are you? There you are. Oh, there we go. Oh.
no hesitation, and the venom works immediately. Look at the tail! Gotta love the Androcnus Crescicauda. Alright, next up it is the male Androcnus Crescicauda. I hope I can get this in frame because I do not want to miss this male's attack. This male is very well known for actually really taking down, like giving good takedowns. Alright. Ooh. Good battle. Good battle. Oh. The cricket's dead. It's gone. Yep. Well, that's the end of that cricket. Alright, let's move on to the next specimen. Next up, we have another sub-adult male Androcnus Crescauda. And this one has proven to be a decent eater as well, so let's see. Oh, no, you're in Primo. Oh, no, you're definitely not in Primo. I can see that. <laughs> I was worried for, worried for a moment. I thought this particular specimen was on Primo. Oh well, eventually he will be able to break through. So yeah, let's leave him for now and move on to the next specimen. This is my other female Androcnus crassicauda, but as you can see, it recently just molted out, so I shall not be disturbing her any more than I should. So yeah, let's move on to the next specimen. Alright, next up we have the Parabutus transvelicus. This is my sub-adult female. On mobile to fully grown female. So let's see if it wants a decently sized cricket. And the one that makes the most noise will die today. You are the one that keeps me up awake every night, so now you suffer. That's right, get stabbed in the face. Make some more noise at night, keep me awake. Alright, let's go on to the next specimen. This is the matured female Parabutus transvelicus attempting to escape from me but I shall not let you escape for I need contact. And now the cricket is refusing to face its doom and death and I shall refuse to let you escape. That was way too fast. That was way too wickedly fast. She just did the U-turn like instantaneously. What is this? Damn. All right, this coffin's on a roll today. So let's go on to the next specimen. All right, next up we have the female Pamphobetes mascara. She's a rather big female and chonk. So let's make her even more chonky, eh? Very beautiful tarantula. Cannot emphasize how beautiful it is. But I can't wait. I can't wait for the male to mature out completely because the males are well known to be the more beautiful specimens in the Pamphobetes genus. All right, let's move on to the next specimen. 
Alright, right up next, we have the Formictopus cancer these female. This would be the last for today's feeding video. I hope you all enjoyed the video thus far, all the way till now. If you guys like the video, you guys know the drill, do leave a like. If you guys are interested in more content for feeding or maybe even review videos in the future, subscribe for more, you know, for more videos. And do let me know in the comments for what kind of uh, content videos would you guys like to see. And I will do my best at fulfilling those requests. So without further ado, let's end the video with a... Out of the frame, really? God damn it. <laughs> ah. Alright, well at least we managed to get that. doesn't matter I'm happy hope you guys enjoyed the video take care and you know the drill cheers everyone inverse paradise out